hello everyone welcome to excel dose in today's video i will walk you through some excel basic functions and formulas like how they work in excel and i will walk you through very simple and easiest way of example so let's get started with the video so as you can see we have uh, some data here and the basic of the function is whenever you are writing any of the function or the formula we have to write it using equal to sign the moment you click on or press equal to sign the excel will easily understood that you are writing a new formula so what does it mean is suppose if i want to do the sum of us and australia so what i have to do is i have to simply press equal to sign and then select the value for us and then we sum the value of australia right so then simply press the enter button so now we are getting the sum of these two location us and australia now you might think it's very uh, simple or maybe a tricky one now suppose if you want to calculate the complete sum of these four locations so either you can type here the formula sum and select all these rows and you will get the values or what you can do is like you select only that particular cell click on auto sum so it will automatically apply the formula now you can see and also select the range then simply press the enter button now you can see we are getting the result or the sum of these four locations right and another way of doing this is the another smart way okay so for that what we have to do is we have to type equal to and then subtotal instead of selecting sum we can select the subtotal so i will tell you like what is the meaning of this one so the moment you type subtotal you will see there are different kind of functions number now suppose i want to calculate the sum so what i have to do is i have to simply press 9 and then give the range now we have to calculate the sum for these range and then close the bracket and press the enter button now you see we are getting the result now you might ask me like what is the difference so now the difference is if i apply your filter here and if i want to select only or want to see the sum only for australia uk and us so what i have to do is i have to uncheck only the canada location now you can see the magic whatever you have selected from the filter you are getting the sum for that particular location only so now if you have a largest data and which you have to apply filter and then calculate the value so i guess subtotal is one of the easiest and the smartest option to do let us know in the comment section if you are using it or if it is new for you also so please let us know in the comment section now this is the basic of the one of the function right now move to the second most important function which is sum function now sum function i already told you how it works now i will talk you about sum if function so how this sum if function work is so it work based on the conditions so either condition can be one or condition can be two now first we'll talk about the condition one or our example first so now we want to calculate the sum of location where it is us and that's what we have to do now we have to calculate the sum based on location as us so what we have to do is we have to type sum if and then the range range is like where we have to apply that first condition we have to apply the first condition in this one and then press the comma now the criteria our criteria should be us so what does it mean is wherever the location found as us then we have to find out calculate the sum so sum is in location b or the range b right and then simply press the enter button now you can see here we are getting the sum for location us so location us is here here and here now you can see we have a location us in three different type and you can here also you can see the sum is coming as 
now suppose you have another condition also so you want to calculate the sum only for the location which status is having a active because in the row number 6 you can see here us is status as pause right so now if i want to calculate the sum only for the active so what i have to do is i have to use another function which is sum if s so how to use that one so sum if function is basically used whenever you have a multiple condition so now here now the you can see the first argument here is sum range so we have to go for the sum range is this one and the criteria range one now these argument will also help you to understand what to be selected as a next step so now the next step is criteria range our first condition is this one right the location should be what us right and now criteria two the criteria range to the criteria should be active where we can find the status in the column C right and it should match with the status 2 which is like active so how this formula is working is we are calculating the sum of range B wherever condition range A is having a location US and c column is having a status as active so now we'll simply close the bracket now you can see we are getting the result based on the status as active and if i change this to pause now based on that i will get as a result which is like a 300 dollar so this is how you can use the sum if and sum if yes function in excel now let's move to the third important function which is a count function now suppose you have a some data like this right and you want to calculate like how many students are present right for that particular date so here you can see i have a text which is like a present present and the blank right so for this what we can use is we have to use the count a function instead of count because count function is calculate only the numeric value so if you have a text format or as well as the numeric value in the same row then you can use as a count a function so how to use that one again we'll type here the equal to sign and then we'll type count a and then simply just select the range then close the bracket now you can see we are getting the value as 3 because we have only the three student present for that particular day now suppose if i type here any numeric value which is like one you can see it changed to the four because it will calculate text as well as the number format both right now we'll look into the count function how the count function works the same way we'll type count and then select the value here now the only problem with the count function is is it calculate only the numeric value so we'll close the bracket now you can see we are getting the value as 3 right so if i type here test now you can see it, it is not calculating this particular value because this is a text format right so what does it mean is like whenever you have a value or you want to count only the numeric value then you have to use the count function if you have a mix like text as well as the numeric value then you have to use the count a function so this is about the count function now let's move to the next function which is average so now suppose you want to calculate the average of this particular data so what you have to do is again simply type the average and then select that particular data and then the moment you press the enter button you will get the average of this particular data this is the one way right and the second way is like if you don't want to type the formula you just simply select the data and at the bottom of the excel you can see here we are also getting the average of this particular spend value so either you can use this way or you can write a formula also for the functional to use the get the values of average right 
and then let's move to the last but not the least this function is a combination of three different function one is like if function and then and and or right so i will tell you like how we can use it and how we can mix these formulas also now suppose i want to do the final or uh, get the final result based on passing score of 70 so what i have to do is i have to type here if function if logical test first is argument is logical test so about logical test is if b2 is greater than or equal to this particular value right then sorry first we have to freeze this one or lock this one because we have to drag the formula so suppose if you have any value which is in particular cell and you want to drag the formula make sure you are freezing that particular cell also so in this case i have freeze the j1 and if this condition is true then the result should be pass otherwise it should be a fail right so we'll press the enter button now you can see we are getting the result and let's drag the formula here also now here you can see here the marks in maths is like less than 70 so it's showing as a fail now suppose if you want to see only the fail people like who are failed in the exam you don't want to see the pass people so what you have to do is simply just remove this pass from the formula and just leave it like this quotation mark only and then press the enter button and then drag the formula here also now you can see you are getting only the people who are fail in math now move to the next function which is like and so what how this particular function works is like you have a multiple condition if both these condition are like both uh, particular that person is passed in math as well as science then it should show as a pass otherwise if he or she is fail in any of the exam then it should mark as a fail right so how that work is again we'll use here the if function and then now here the condition come logical test instead of typing that uh, greater than equal to 70 what we have to do is first we have to type here the another function which is and because we have to use the and logic test if and math marks is greater than equal to this marks again we'll freeze it or and sorry science marks is greater than or equal to 70 again we'll freeze it then close the bracket because we already give the logical test here if any of the value is uh, passed then only or both the value is passed then only it should mark as a pass so we'll mark here as a pass or it should be a fail if it is false then we'll close the bracket now you can see we are getting the value as pass and fail now you can see here in this particular example in math james scoring only 65 percent however in the science he is getting 80 right but still it mark as a fail because we have applied two condition which which is mean is like he should be passing both the exam now to look into the or condition the same way we have to type if now the logical test start from the or then again we'll select the math ex marks and then give this condition again logical 2 which is like science and then again we'll select this one and freeze it then close it and then we'll see the pass and fail if the condition is false right so now you can see here if i drag the formula here so in the, the same example james right in and condition if he is pass in both the exam then it should mark as a pass otherwise if he is a fail in any of the exam then it should mark as a fail for that condition we have to use and otherwise we have to use the or condition so these are some basic excel functions and the formula which will help you daily your excel work 
so i hope you like this video please like share comment and subscribe to extra dose thank you so much for watching